What's up guys, Nolan here. This is not a Tarkov video. This is a Star Citizen video. In case you're getting confused, we're getting a lot of questions about how people can join the org and what's going on with Star Citizen and stuff like that. So I figured I'd make a new video discussing that. We also have a new setup for how we're doing things with the org. So let's get into that right now. However, first things first, if you do not own Star Citizen yet, first things you need to do is create an account. When you create an account, you should use my referral code, full transparency. The way that this works is that you guys get a bunch of extra starting cash. I get points towards free stuff on this site subject anybody can use this code everybody gets their own referral code when you get one person you get a badger and some you know random stuff up to five people you'll get some stuff that's you know it's okay here and there however if you do have a very solid group of 10 friends who don't have star citizen yet and they all use your referral code you'll get a free gladius out of it however if you don't have any friends i'd appreciate it if you use my code you'll get a bunch of extra starting cash and then i get points towards free ships of which if you're going to be joining the org you're going to be able to get to use all of my ships are for the org which that's for a different fleet video later right now we're just talking about the org. now once you have your account you do need a ship you do need a version of the game which you get from buying a ship absolutely especially since you're joining an org or if you're just going to have friends to play with even if you're not joining our org all you need is a starter ship all you need is aurora all you need is a mustang alpha if you want to go crazy you can go get a titan you can go get a cutty black you can get a nomad whatever you want but this is really all you need absolutely all you need is the aurora especially if you are going to be playing with other people because those other people are very likely to have ships that you can get in the gunners for or ships that you can use if you need to but again unless it's a free fly you will need one of these ships because it does come with the star citizen download so that you can actually play the game after that you're going to go into the description of this video and you're going to join our discord if you haven't already from there you're going to go to the roles channel and you're going to make sure that you select the star citizen role in the roles channel so that you can see the star citizen channels once you see the star citizen channels you can either ask for help in chat or you can go over to org applications and you'll see the rest of the instructions that you're going to need for joining the org right here and again if you run into any trouble or if you have any questions go ahead and pop it up in star citizen chat somebody will help you now past that if you're just interested in joining the org maybe you're already into star citizen this is what we're working with right now we have 237 people i think 237 yeah 237 members right now on our fleet yards we're only showing i think 40 something 45 what is it 46 people and it's already $135,000 worth of ships over here. Just 46 out of the 237 that we have. We have everything. We have multiple javelins. We've got, a, what is it? Not a dozen Krakens. We do have uh, several Krakens, several Idris, a uh, dozen or so Polaris, more than a dozen Perseus, all those bigger ships and down. We have a ton of whales. There's just a lot of people that have put a bunch of money into this game, and we are a very powerful org. Right now, we're just focused on getting you know actually organized we have done some org versus org stuff with captain burks before we did okay there was a lot of problems when we were playing that but generally speaking right now we're trying to really narrow down and get ourselves actually organized and that's where certifications come in and this is where you're going to need to pay attention if you are already an org member so if you go over to the star citizen section of the discord and you go to org board this is the listing that we have up for certifications the way that this is going to work is that everybody is going to have their own job and their own place in the org. Ground forces in terms of FPS is going to be codenamed Havoc. And these are also, this is temporary. We don't need to keep these names forever. We've got actually, there's a um, forum post up asking about what we should uh what we should name our units here and that's up if you want to contribute to that that's up in the org bullpen but i digress anyway the fps is going to be called havoc the ground vehicles is going to be called anvil the combat pilots for one and two seaters is going to be called chaos combat pilots for three seaters and up is going to be called thunder which i know that can go very far but we're going to scale with the game as it scales for right now it's going to be just three seaters and up and the gunners it doesn't really matter where your gunner it's the same stuff they're going to be called mayhem additionally we're not really doing logistics right now but if you do want to do logistics that's going to be called hammer so inside the org there's going to be people that are in charge of running the certifications for each of these jobs and the reason why we're doing this is because we want to make sure that if somebody's going to be doing something for the org we need to know that they know what they're doing and then it's also helpful knowing that everybody else around you knows what they're doing as well so if you want to be a three-seater or up pilot like if you want to pilot a redeemer or even a hammerhead during jump town or one of our events then you need to be thunder certified if you want to be a fighter pilot then you need to be 
chaos certified. And then if you want to run stuff on the ground with whatever the ground crew is going to be doing that day, you need to be havoc certified. And the way it's going to work from here is you're going to need to watch out in the org bullpen and people are going to be posting when they're going to be running their certifications. As of right now, we're still figuring out a good time for that. Expect it to be on weekends in general. As of right now, I am the person that's in charge of the havoc of the ground crew. And I'm planning on doing mine on Saturdays and Sundays for the next couple of weeks at least. It should only take about an hour or two. It's going to be in game. Just make sure people know what they're doing. Get them in game. If you've already played before, it's, you know, back of your hand stuff. It's going to be no problem. You'll get the check mark on your barracks and hangar listing in the discord and you'll be all set. Same thing goes for all the rest of the certifications. Then from there, what we're going to do is we're going to format everybody into teams, squads, platoons, companies, and up. As of right now, we're just going to do it up to platoons and we haven't figured out names. We're probably going to let people pick the names of their platoons, but it's just, you know, real organization for the org. Again, this is placeholder, but it's the stuff that we know right now where there's a lot of current and previous military in the org right now. Everybody understands the squad platoon company setup. So this is what we're going to roll with right now. Also, it works that it's even numbers so that we can have wingmen and it's going to set up well. Once we have a few platoons, the way it's going to work from there is once there's an actual event, everybody will break up to make sure that we actually have good fights. So at most, it will be like 16, on rare occasions, 20 people to a server. But really, we want to try and get around the 10 person to a single squad on a server so that they could, you know, get the most action possible from that server. We're not scaring everybody away because there's 30 people on top of Jump Town right now. Then once we have about a platoon, which should be pretty quick, we can even do squad versus squad stuff and then we can go from there. So if you're already a member of the org, make sure you look out for certifications so that we can get everybody organized actually into squads and we can get things moving in terms of actual organization for the org. And you'll see it up on screen right now. I'll put up some footage. We did have some fun at Jump Town, but we did realize we're going to need to get a bit more organized here going into the future because we're dealing with a lot of people right now. So this certification system and also this squad platoon company system is going to help a lot with that. Again, if you guys have any questions, you can put up in the star system chat. If you're already in the org, you can put it up in the org chat in the discord. Otherwise, that's all for now, guys. You know the drill. Like if you did, sub for more, comment what you think, and I hope you have a nice day in the verse. See you guys.